are in the crow's nest and still in port, but I wanted to show you this is definitely the best view on the ship, especially at sea days. You have all your leather chairs here and then just all kind of seating puzzles. You can read in here, you can book excursions. They have a bar, it's just a really cool place. So this is the back pool area. And again, we're still in port, but I wanted to show you the new Celebrity Edge if you had not seen it yet. This is my first time seeing it in person. You have been on the edge let me know and we're off it's regal princess over there which we've been on twice love that shit can't see it but celebrity edge is way out there it was cool seeing it leave uh -uh, let me see the dog on this paddleboard. Oh, she wiped out. Look at that boat flying in there. He's probably not supposed to be going that fast. Yeah, he's got a Hi. place to grow grapes and Chateau Saint-Michel sources grapes from all over the Columbia Valley. But three exceptional vineyards really define our style and our wines. Cold Creek Vineyard is one of Washington's oldest and most acclaimed vineyards. Planted in 1972 in the heart of the Columbia Valley American Viticultural Area or ABA. Cold Creek Vineyard at Canoe Ridge Estate. And this is Club Orange. So this is if you are a sweet guest or you can also pay to eat in here. A little area outside. I love when ships have these little areas right here just kind of along the windows. I know some princess ships have it and I always like that. We are on deck two. And this is the world stage, which is the theater. It has a really good layout. Really big open space. Lots of good seating. It goes all the way around there. Back here is where you get pictures done. And you can just look at them on the wall and pull up your pictures. And then this little hallway leads to the Dutch Cafe. Cool little mirrors. And they have cookies and little things here. Really cute little area. With all the blue. And this is the atrium and guest services. This is the, one of the elevator areas. They're all nice and big, nice signs. And this is the shops area. Of course, they're closed because we are in port today. And then here's the art gallery, which I thought was cool because it actually set up like an art gallery. Not just, you know, in a random hallway like a lot of them are. So that's really pretty. Grand Cayman today and we just got here 
We've been here one other time, but it's been several years ago. There's a beach, and then there is a pool. Sorry about the sun here. So lots of beach area. Good area to like swim, just be in the water. weird to see it say special era because it's <laughs> it's over yeah this one here's huh. oh is it yeah not too many after the first huh <clears throat> okay so this is what this is supposed to be here yeah. right mm -hmm. the capsule I think I filmed this before. We are pulling into Puerto Rico today, so you're looking at San Juan. day at sea today and I wanted to show you this little area there's not a whole lot of areas in the shade unless you're down on the back pool deck the adult only but those kind of fill up so we ate breakfast a little while ago it's kind of we had about an hour before we're gonna watch a talk with the captain so this is on deck 10 I believe one up from the back pool deck so if you just come in this little area right here there's several benches I don't know why they don't have some lounge chairs here that would be perfect and I'd mentioned before on some of the new um, shifts that's the only thing they're kind of lacking is outside in the shade but you know I like the new ship so I take it so there's a bench here a bench here this is where we're sitting we just grabbed a couple of towels and just hanging out a little bit there's shuffleboard right here 
You go up one deck and that is the sports complex with basketball. There's actually a hot tub right above us. There's actually a whole big area with more lounge chairs, but of course it's in the sun right now. Another one right here. You know, just watching the ocean go by. I don't Hi guys, we are in St. Thomas today. We're actually looking at the retreat area. So that's the retreat area. I hadn't filmed yet today. We've already been to town and back and shopped and looked because we've been here several times. Um, but I wanted to show you a little bit. I have other videos if you want to see a little bit more of St. Thomas or St. John. Beautiful day here. The weather is stunning. Gorgeous water. Lots of boats in the marina. It's gorgeous and blue, especially this time of day. Anyway, and I just want to show you a little bit. Sorry I didn't film much, but again, I feel like um, all we did was like walk around today and did some shopping and ate lunch and wasn't much to see. Just wanted to share a little bit. Half Moon Cay, and as you can see, there are two ships in today. We've never been here when there's two ships, and I can tell you, it feels totally different. So our little paradise <laughs> is not the same. There's like so many people here. I've shown um, Half Moon Cay before. As you can see, the beach is beautiful, the sand's beautiful, but look at all the people. So literally double the people that's normally here. Still pretty though. All right, we moved way down past the pirate ship because we took a walk and we saw all this was fairly open. Normally, everybody makes a beeline down here and it looked more crowded from where we were. See, down there it's more crowded. So it was much more relaxing down here like normal. Awesome water, real close. So. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous right there. Well, it's about three o'clock and we're back on board. We're gonna leave here soon. Just giving you one last look at the beautiful island and the water. I didn't film a whole lot this trip because we had already been to all of the stops and I have other videos on that. But. So we're just waiting for the last people to come on and there's the other ship that was with us today. Basically, that's what our ship looks like. That's the Koningsdam. I think it's about three years old and ours is four months old. So I just thought I'd give you a better look at the island since we kind of moved a little bit here. You can see one of the tender boats going in. It's like a little alcove. to go. <laughs> I, we usually do a little dueling horns here with fellow Holland America ships. Really, and every cruise line does that if you're in port with another fellow ship. And if, I, if you can tell how blue this water is, even right here. Just so pretty. I cannot get enough of this beach. Like the sand is just so white and I mean, look how blue the water is. I don't even think my camera does it justice. Can you 
not here when we do ours. Maybe not because it's so long. That's what I was wondering. That's what I was thinking. It sounds like us because usually they go back and forth, but um, yeah. How crazy is that that we can hear him? I guess I say him, it's her, they're always a her, <laughs> but um, you know, we. See, you can hear ours barely. Yeah, because it's up above our head. Oh, you know why we could hear it the other day? We were up in the crow's nest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we were right close to mm -hmm. it. Because you really can't hear it back yeah. here. Being out in this open sea. Yeah. Like, if we're in port, you can hear it. Yeah. Well, it's no fun not hearing <laughs> back and forth. You just can't really hear ours that much. You can hear echoing off of him a little bit. Thank you so much and I'll see you in